Welcome true seekers to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Vibes. I am back with another working money for Scorpios. If you think that description did fit around, this forecast may or may not pertain to you. If it does not, however, as a disclaimer, if it doesn't fit, please acquit. With that being said, please remember to give the videos a thumbs and to check the description box on ways to reach out to me. With that being said, please sit back and relax and prepare for your messages from source through me to you for the work and money week of May 30th until June 5th. Yeah, enjoy and stay woke. Hello, my beautiful eager feathers. Welcome back to the Tarot Temple. And I would like to thank my new subscribers. Thank you so much for choosing Spirit Vibes as your home and place for weekly spiritual guidance. You are a blessing. Yes, you are. All right. So if you are Capricorn somewhere in your chart very strongly or your cross watcher, you may want to watch that this week. They gave me the most views, so they will be receiving the double feature, which is Working Money Part 2, which will be a love feature, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started. Oh, there you go. Huh. Overall energy is her high priestess. This could be you, Scorpio, Pisces, and or Cancer. Based on your element again, Four of Cups. I understand your element, right? What you can expect is the title card or the message card. And that is stemming from the Hierophant. Okay. And the outcome is the Five of Pentacles reverse. Beautiful energy. Yes. Praise the Lord. The Lord. Okay. And we're going to discuss the conflict and our challenge. And of course, the supportive energies in a minute. And your underlying energy is the sword, my favorite card, and the high priestess. We have both of my favorite cards here today. Woo dee woo. The truth will set you free, baby. All knowing. All knowing. The truth will set you free. And what you can expect overall is intuition. Keeping it to yourself. Privacy. Ooh, I did not know that. I better hurry along. Um, some of you may be receiving a revelation. And it's all based on this four cups. Now, this could be dealing with COVID as well. Like quarantine and isolation. But it's definitely a problem here. There are definitely several issues, three issues here. It could be a mixture of things. It could be three people. You know, it could be um, anything pertaining to you. You know what those issues are. Maybe she's going to give you the answer. The overall energy is the high priestess. She's going to give you the answers to your problems. Some of you Scorpios. Because this is your energy anyway. You're going to be able to intuit your own, the, the, the answers to your own problems. You will be able to resolve yourself this week. And that is because you can expect a message. Okay. Some of you, this may deal with ingredients like labels. Some of you, did I say COVID? So this may be are the ingredients for some of you dealing with the vaccine. I just told you that. Dealing with that vaccine. There could be three ingredients in this vaccine that may cause you to have issues, like the, your allergens. You know what I'm saying? This could be about a separation. This could be dealing with a family member. Some type of family ties is here for some of you. It could be with a, another scorpion. It's stemming from some type of commitment here, some type of devotion. You know, this is voluntary. 
this is open you don't have to do this but if you want to be here if you want to work here if you want to live here if you want to be part of this society then you have to agree to these terms whether you agree or not this message is stealing from that some type of devotion some type of commitment This could be a lease as well. Yeah, this could be a lease. Some of you are moving. Scorpios. To get away from issues, to get away from problems. Let's find out the reason for this commitment based on this Four of Cups. Now, this sounds like trying to get a personal solution for yourself. You're trying to resolve this yourself, and I see this is all of you. With this um, High Priestess here. Sun reverse as the reason for this commitment and this four of cups. This is a secret. Did I say there was a secret high priestess? Mm -hmm. This is something low key, you know, underground connection. I don't, it's flourishing though, it's going to show up. It's going to naturally, show, it's going to naturally happen. It's going to naturally show up. It's kind of underground. It's not necessarily a secret, but it's kind of underground. Like people know, but they don't know. They may not know who it is. You know what I'm saying? It's flowering. It's, it's growing. Oh, it's growing. It's a soulmate. This is the reason for this commitment or this joining this place based on a separation or based on COVID or it's this connection, this bubbling, this growing connection, this growing connection, it's growing. I'm, I'm also hearing this, for some of you it's an obligation. You can look at it as an obligation, like it's your job, like you know it's my job, so I have to do this, I have to do this right. This is about doing it right, you know, following the rules, the regulations, or whatever, as well. Some of you, this is about marriage. I don't know if your family member got married. together because this could be about living together lease but you have a really good outcome because you're going to feel relieved and free a lot of time this represents a new start from the bottom now you're about to go up now don't expect that come up to be instantly take your time but it'll be faster than you think okay a relief, a relief, a release, being released from a place. Some of you may have stayed in a homeless shelter or something like that, or you know, at a church or whatever. Um, and now, oh, did I say that? Some of you will be moving in, and now you're feeling so relieved. You're so ready to get out of that place. I know because all the rules and the laws and stuff. But it was revealed to you, or you intuited this. How priestess gave you this. The conflict and a challenge with that though this week is this star card. Now this could be a person or this could be you. The request that you made, the hopes that you have. You know, 
waiting for that answer. You know, some of you is having to do certain things. Like there's a checkoff list. And, um, you know, like if you stand in some of those charitable places, there's certain responsibilities that you have. And, you know, the conflict is you, you know, not wanting to really do that. But now you got what you want. But, you know, you have to do this stuff. Have to do this stuff. You be watched all the time. Yeah, you, know, you be watched all the time. You stand out in this group, in this union, in this family, in this at this job. You stand out based on this separation. You got to get some stuff done. Hmm, interesting. But something is definitely. But in a way, I kind of see you kind of happy to do it, although it's a challenge, you know, because you're getting what you want, you know. Maybe some of your stuff is in other places, you know, because sometimes people got to get their birth certificates and stuff. They got to go to other states. They got to send it off from other states. You know what I'm saying? That could be the issue. Like I said, you can't get married or join anything without birth certificates and social security cards and green cards and stuff like that. So that could be the issue. You're getting what you want, but you got to get all this stuff. Or you could be this person who's getting what they want. Who is a star. Who's in the spotlight. Who's the answer to someone's prayer. And the supportive energy that is the eight of Coins. Now, what's going to support you this week is getting your shit done, focusing on you, getting your checklist. I mean, then I tell you, for some of you, this is you. You got shit you need to do. You need to do it. That's simple. You don't need tarot for that. Now, let's go ahead and get your sketch yet, she said, for your Oracle message this week, Scorpio. Just get the shit done. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel very relieved in the end. And you're going to be getting what you want. You know. The truth will set you free. That's what's that I don't know what that means in here. But the truth will set you free. It's, it's in here. Oh, that is true. The truth. The underlying energy will set you free. Damn. You realize what I'm saying? Would it be right there? Truth will set you free. All right, Scorps. Let's see. I hope she don't. I don't know what, why it takes so, so long to give me an answer with the sketch deck, but it does. Oh, you got the red Mary Jane. Somebody else had this a week or two ago. I think it was Leo. You may be connected to Leo. See how they rotate in cycles? So this week, you may need to go see Leo. You know, whatever your rotation is per week. For these vids, so you can get your story. I don't know why I'm here. Step in the name of love with Mary James. That's what I'm hearing. If you don't know that song, you need to play it. Uh, uh, R. Kelly, Step in the Name of Love. But for Mary Jane, ooh, 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 ooh. Mary Jane, let me go ahead and get you a. Uh, somehow those two go together, y'all. Y'all know how I am as a, as an intuitive. I don't bullshit you. I don't bullshit you. You know that you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. This is business. You got to go back and handle this this week, Scorpio. This is business. So this is love at work. <laughs> you got to go back and handle all of these emotions, all this emotions, all this bullshit, but you're going to be handling it through business or this is going to be some connection coming to you through business. And with that being said, no, this is a reconnection. This is going to go well with your Mercury retrograde reads. This is a reconnection. 
And with that being said, <laughs> I'm going to close it out here. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Vibes one more again. And until the next one, peace and one love. Take care, Eagle Feathers.